Hey, it's Jeff Walker, and I have a question for you. What does luck have to do with it? So I, I was recently had this big fancy interview, and someone wrote in with a comment and said, okay, but where, you know, where does luck figure in, in in Jeff's success? So that's a good question, because you look around and you see people having amazing success, and is luck just a big part of it? And you, know, you can go real deep on this. Um, but the interesting thing is, I know like I used, when I was growing up, I thought, boy, oh, I wish I would have lived in the time when they were building the railroads and stuff like that. That would have been the time. There would be so much opportunity there. But the thing is, is we are all so lucky right now because there has never been a time like now in terms where people have so much power to build businesses and to create success just literally out of the ether. You know, the internet allows us to reach billions of people and billions more are coming online in the next few years. So what part does luck have to do with it? Was, was it lucky like in my biggest launch, you know, up to date, you know, this is back in 08 when it, the, all the forces were aligning for my biggest ever launch and my server crashed a couple minutes after we went live. Or my very, very first launch for product launch formula where um, through a weird quirk, of, of, of our new domain, we ended up on all these blacklists. And I could go through one thing after another, all the crazy bad luck I've had. Um, and, 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 I, and plenty of, it's like in, often in your biggest opportunity, your biggest promotions, things can go wrong. I have a friend who had his first major live event planned to start the Friday after, two, after Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. He had people that were going to be flying in from all over the country and all, you know, after 9-11, all the airports were closed, no one was flying, and he had to cancel his event. Was that luck? But you flash forward a couple of years and he's having extraordinary success. So that's the thing I've noticed, is that in any given promotion, any given project, there can be luck. There can be good luck, there can be bad luck. But the people that are really having success are the people who are making their own luck over time. You know, it's like, yeah, sure, I, I was in the right place at the right time. I got online early and started figuring out the building of an email list early on. But since then, I've turned it into a process. And, you know, that's how I've had, I don't know, it's somewhere around 10 or 12 consecutive million dollar launches and million dollar promotions. You know, I've noticed Lots of people, lots of entrepreneurs, good friends of mine have had tremendous setbacks where they had some, they, had, they went bankrupt or they ran into regulatory issues. Or for me, I had, I had a, uh, my business stolen from me by a partner, one of my early businesses stolen from me by a partner. And I was able to bounce back and my friends were able to bounce back. So that's the thing is like, you know, you can have individual setbacks in any project in any promotion, even in a business. But the people who are having long-term success, they, 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 they're engineering their luck. They're, they're creating their luck. And that's how you succeed over time. You know, it's just, you start, it's, it's like this idea of being, you know, some people think being an entrepreneur is, uh, is risky. Well, I think working for, a, for another business um, is risky. Working for cor the corporate world is risky because you don't have any control. But as you start to get it, to build your success as an entrepreneur, it's all about you know, gradual incremental success. And then you start to build this toolbox, you start to build assets. And that's how I was able to, you know, after having a business stolen, turn around and boom, within a few months, build a far more successful business. And that's how I've seen friends who went bankrupt turn around and create an incredibly successful business really quickly. Often it's faster the second time around because you engineer your luck, you engineer your success. You've built up the, the skills, you've built up the assets, so the second time around is that much faster. So have I been lucky? Absolutely. But you know, it's funny, this time of year, you often see a lot of old friends or family and, and people are like, oh, you've been so lucky. And, and when they say that, I smile and yep, yep, I've, I've been lucky. But inside my head, I've been, no, I've, I've worked really hard for this. I've worked really hard, I've been working really hard, and I've been showing up every day. And not every day is a success, and not every day is lucky. But you know what, over time, when you show up and you bring your A game, as, you know, every day, or maybe not every day, but as, as often as you can, 
That's how you make your own luck. So if you're watching this blog anywhere, or watching this video anywhere else besides my blog at jeffwalker.com, head on over there. Um, that's where all my latest videos are, and I got a lot of extra goodies for you there. Um, and uh, scroll down, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and let's go get them this week.